Hey guys, Mike Taylor, AKA Battleship Cobra here. Today we're gonna cover how to add images to your crystal reports layouts. Before I begin, I wanna say check out www.battleshipcobra.com. I have a crystal reports for SAP Business One course and an SQL for SAP Business One course as well. If you like this video, like it. If you wanna see more, subscribe. Join the notification squad by clicking the bell down below. I hope you enjoy all my content. There's tons of videos and lots more stuff coming. Wearing glasses. I'm a little under the weather. My throat hurts, you know, baby, but I'm still going to get this video done because I want to. So today I'm going to add images and talk about adding images to Crystal Reports layout, specifically the sales order. I'm going to use the default SAP Business One layout and I'm going to show you how I would do processing for Photoshop as well as linking and formatting the Crystal Reports layout. So the first thing we're going to start with is Photoshop batch processing. Okay, so I've made this simple order here. I'm just gonna have two items. You could obviously have thousands. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that you can do this, but the first step is to resize your images. The reason we're gonna resize the images is because Crystal Reports does not handle multiple sized images. It'll just squish them into the size of the OLE object. So the first step is to use some sort of program to resize all the images to fit nicely into a box. And then that's what we're gonna start with. So we're gonna go to Photoshop first. So if you don't have Photoshop, you will probably be able to do this some way. I don't know exactly how. Obviously I'm just gonna show you with Photoshop because I have it and it works really well. So again, you wanna fit these to be a standard size width. So the first thing you wanna do is open your actions. So here are the actions. I just made a new folder. Then I made a new action called SAP resize image. Once you make this, and if you can't see this, go to windows actions. There are lots of tutorials. This isn't gonna be the most complete tutorial for the Photoshop side, just roughly how I do it. But if you follow what I'm doing, you will be able to do it. So you basically just have to go SAP resize image. I can't export this and give it to you. I wish I could. So you got SAP resize image, you click record your macro. I have obviously already done this. And then you basically just do what you're gonna do. So we want, we don't just wanna change the canvas size because the image could be really tall or really wide. So we wanna basically fit it into the size we want. Then we are going to change the size of the canvas. Then we're gonna save it, that's it. So the canvas is the size of the actual image, not shrinking or growing the image. So we're gonna start with this. We would click record. I'm gonna just hide that and I'm gonna do the steps for you while I'm doing it. So we're gonna do 150 pixels by 150 pixels. So we would go file, automate, fit image. Remember to press the record macro. I picked 150 by 150. So it's gonna basically squish it and it's gonna show it within 150 and 150. Okay, so because this is pretty wide, 150 is what it fits in. This is the size of it. Next thing, I'm gonna do image, canvas size, 150, 150. Leave it where it is, push okay. So now you see it is this size, it's gonna be exactly a 150 square. Then you push File, Save. I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna do the automation. Once you push Save, you can go back to your action and you can push Stop Recording and you should have Fit Image, Canvas Size, and Save. And if you wanna do those bigger, you can do the bigger. You just match your Fit Image Size to your Canvas Size. For me, I'm not gonna do very big images. You could do bigger images if you want. You could do, um, you know, whatever it is, it's gonna be the, the size, you need to have them be the size that they're gonna be on the actual uh, output. This is gonna be my placeholder image. So this guy is pixels, 150 by 150, okay? So this will be my placeholder. I'm just gonna close this guy here. Now we're gonna run the batch for the other ones. File, automate, batch, Mike's actions, SAP resize image. So it's gonna run that on all these. My source folder is on my desktop, it's called test. 
my destination folder on my uh, on, on the thing here is test two and then we just run okay two 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 so it's going to run through there again could be thousands and it outputs these two so you can mess around with it too you could have a lot you know larger size objects you could put padding in there you could apply a standard like you can make them all grayscale or whatever you want to do so we have our three images i'm going to basically say do these two and then if there's a third one or if the image doesn't exist i'm going to just use the missing image 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 another strategy here is you don't necessarily have to link these to the items but i'll show you now jumping back into sap linking these to items and we'll talk about it so let's go for this item 041350 remarks picture desktop test okay link it okay good Next one, remarks, thing, desktop, test two, this one. Okay, so those are linked, so that's nice. If it's linked like that, it's gonna make your job easier. I don't know of a way that it can automate to do that out of the box, potentially doing a DTW upload. I think will link them, but I don't know if it's going to move them. I think you'll have to just put them in the picture file and then DGW update them. You'll have to experiment a little bit with that. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, if you have thousands linking them, it's going to be a problem. You can actually do the master data manager with B1Up. And again, I'm mostly sure you could do it with the DTW. You just put the files into your image path modules administration system and initialization general settings path images so this is where they are this is where they live for me years will probably be just a network path put your files in there and then use the dtw you can name you know you just need the item code and then you can do item code dot png or whatever type of document uh, or whatever type of extension type you want and then that would get everything linked to them. You could also just not link them to the actual item. You could just throw them in a folder and then you could just use that folder and then you can just um, pull them into the crystal reports because all you need is the path and the image. You don't necessarily need it to be linked to the item itself. But having said that, it's better to have it linked to them. Again, throw them in that folder with the path, DTW them to connect them or use B1Up Master Data Manager and just use SQL name of your item dot png and that should get it on there first so that's the very first step get images and put them on to your items i'm going to add one more item that doesn't have an image just so that i have something to test with my has no image thing item number one perfect update Okay, so let's check out an SAP default layout and we'll see how they do the images. So first thing you wanna do, pencil. Scroll up, find the default one. You should have this one, AR sales order, la la la. Double click it, click edit, wait a minute. It's, if you have crystal reports on your machine, then it'll edit. If you don't have crystal reports, it won't edit out. So you might have to do this on the server or get your SAP partner to help you with that. Once this is edited out, you can see that this is not the greatest layout. You might be using it as default, but there's quite a few things I don't like about this, but I'll include a, a good one that I normally use for SQL, and then I'll include also this one I'm about to edit, because um, I wanted to keep it kind of default so people can do the same logic. Firstly, what you can do is get rid of these, uh, these sections, delete the section, delete these big blank sections, you don't need them. Then I'm going to look down here and I'm going to check out my particular order tools, change log. This is the doc entry that you need. You're going to push refresh, which refresh, which is right here, preview, or you can push F5. So we're going to put our, what was it again? 1054, 1054, 1054. 
Oops. So we're going to put 1054. 17 is the object type of a sales order. You can take my course if you don't know all these objects. I explain everything in my layouts part of my Crystal Reports course. Go to www.battleshipcobra.com. Check out my Crystal Reports for SAV Business One course. Click that. Wait for your login to come up. Once you logged in, you'll be able to see this default. You can see that it does already output the images, but this way isn't necessarily that nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove tax, shift everything over, then we're going to put this object in the main area, and we're gonna put it about here. We'll probably get rid of the line numbers too, why not? So you can see here that it if you click where the image is, and if obviously if you're finna, if that's okay with you where it is, um, go ahead and leave it there. Um, but I'll show you why you might not want to design. So it's in this free text and picture. There's just a lot of junk in there. The image is here on the far side. So I'm going to try and copy this out. Well, first let's clear some space. So we're going to go here. Let's get rid of tax percentage. Let's shrink up the line total a little bit. Let's take a lot of these. I'll get rid of the unit of measure in this case. I just need extra space. Take the price. Oh, what's going on here? I'll get rid of this ruler. You can just click and move it away. Move these. I do recommend you get B1 up, print and delivery, then you don't have to use these layouts ever again. I do have a highly modified one that I will put in the description below. I don't know why these don't even line up, it's crazy. So let's take all this stuff, this one here. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Okay, somewhere in there is good. Um, looks like I'm probably gonna have enough space here, so I'll just make this a little bit bigger. Go down here to free text and picture. We have it open ready. I'm gonna click it and copy it. I think I'm gonna have an issue here. It's not gonna like that I'm missing a couple of those fields. Right click, format graphic, suppress. So this is probably not gonna exist. So yeah, it doesn't know those two field names. I don't, oh, I do have OITM. Okay, so in this case, we just need to switch it, get rid of these. These were passed through. No error found. I don't really think we need to do this. I'm just gonna get rid of this. I don't think we need to have any suppression. I'll show you why. So let's go preview. I think it's gonna give me an error actually. Yeah, picture path. So we don't need these question mark PM things. These are just for passing through to sub reports. Click save. Okay, boom. So we have this. That's really good. Delivery date left. Okay, we can also just get rid of this sub report. I don't really think we need it. Delete. You can get rid of the delivery date row if you want and all that stuff. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is add the missing image image, just to finish everything off. Insert, picture, missing, here. Comes in kind of like big size format, graphic, picture. Uh, we want this to be 1.6, same size as this. Picture, 1.6, 1.6, okay. Perfect, let's throw it into the row. Here, align it. Okay, so once it's placed, you just wanna suppress it if there's an image. There's a couple ways to do it. Suppress. So we're gonna say uh, oitm.picture name 
length of it is greater than zero. That's, what we can, that's one easy way to do it. So if it's greater than zero, it'll say true, and then true will suppress it, okay? So let's go back, tighten this up a bit, and look here, and there you go. So you can move this over a little bit. Maybe we'll just be a little crazy. We'll just do this and this. Move this over. Tighten it up a little bit. Let's take a lucky poo. Probably just align these and laughs a little bit. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter that much, but now you're showing the images of all of your items that are linked to the images or it'll show just a blank blank there. So that's about it. Uh, probably the hardest part is actually just resizing them. Once you've set it there, you'll be able to add it to the default system. You will you can use that example on any layout that you have. I will save this example. It's not that nice looking, but at least it'll do what it has to do for your system. So I'll put that in the description below. I'll also put my other one which is a little bit nicer looking. I'll show you that here. Close, close, close. Oh, by the way, when you're done, you could just go add-ons, file, save as. This will allow you to save it as a different file. If you go file and save, it won't save back into the database. So if you have the add-in installed, you can go add-in and save. It'll probably I'll prompt you to change it because it's a system one, or you can click save as. Or you can save it to the desktop or something, save as. I'll just put it in uh, test two. So we'll say default layout pictures. Save it in test two. So we'll go summary info, it's already called AR sales or la la la. Then I'll just put pictures. Save it. I have to close it to import it. So uh, again, if you just have it, you can put save, but this way, if you don't, go back into SAP, pencil, manage layouts, import, next, browse, desktop, test two, default layout pictures, layout type, RDR2. Again, if you don't know all this stuff, uh, take my course for Crystal Reports for SAP Business One. I'll go through layouts extensively in there uh, with all the uh, references and how to find all these things. There, push finish, and it's going to import everything. Go back to your sales order file. You can go pencil, scroll down. What was it called again? La, la, la. Here with pictures. You could set that as default for all your users. Last thing we're gonna do is we're going to do a preview. Click preview there once we've set it as default. And you can see, boom, it's not the nicest format, it's just the default one, but you have your images, and then if you have no image, you have an image placeholder. So that's nice, you can use my layout in the description below. Copy this logic. Copy that OLE object, change the size a little bit, throw it into your layouts if you want to use it. Use Photoshop to modify your images, and boom, you got images. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this useful. Check out my other videos and playlists on my channel. If you like this video, like it. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you don't come to YouTube all the time, join the notification squad. Cl click the little bell down below. You'll get an email every time I make a video, and that way you don't have to come back and keep checking my channel. I make videos weekly, Mondays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on SAP Business One Topics. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.